when we sit for a short period of time like this, it should actually be just a continuation of what we've been doing all along. Just that we let go of our concerns outside totally and maintain our original intention, which is that we want to train the mind. That's the intention we should hold in mind all the time as we're working in the kitchen, as we're working in the orchard, as we're eating, as we're talking. There should be something in the back of your mind that says, well, stay with the breath, stay mindful. Watch out for any unskillful thoughts that might come in. Because they don't come just when you're sitting here with your eyes closed. They come anytime. And you want to be ready for them anytime. So even though the meditation can't have your full attention while you're doing other things, at least make sure it has part. When a John Cha went to see a John Mun, he stayed only three days, but he picked up some good lessons, one of which was that you should make your practice the shape of a circle. In other words, all the time, all around. Our problem for most of us is that our circle is a dotted line, or sometimes there's a little arc here and arc there. You should try to make it a solid line. Now, sometimes the line will be thicker and sometimes it'll be thinner. But make sure that it's a continuous line. One of John Fuang's words, make your practice timeless. We chant that the Dharma is akaliko, timeless. But our problem is that we have lots of times. Now is the time for this task, now is the time for this task, now is the time for us to rest. And our days get chopped up into little times. And the practice doesn't have much chance to gain momentum. So make sure that it's continuous. There are no gaps in the line. And that way you can build up momentum. You've probably seen those trajectories of the rockets that they send around and around and around and then finally let loose into the outer, outer solar system. As they pick up speed from the gravitational pull of different planets inside the inner solar system. Well, make your practice like that. You're picking up momentum. So finally you can let go, gain escape. And if it just starts and stops, starts and stops, there's not going to be any momentum. Things are not going to pick up. So try to make your practice as, as circular as you can. And make sure the line doesn't have any gaps.